not be spraying those people. Who do you work for, miss? Why are you spraying those people like that? That's so disrespectful. You should not be doing that. That is so disrespectful. Who do you work for? Do I have to clean it because I'm You could clean that up but without spraying these people. That's inhumane. And you choose to have a shirt on that say human rights. What kind of human rights is that? Spraying people with a water hose. That's disrespectful. You should apologize to them. Yeah, they can still pick it up, but how you gonna wear a shirt that say human rights on it and then spray the people with a water hose in their tent? Look, y'all this lady boss, she out here spraying these people with the water hose. Look, this is human rights. You see this man giving them food and you choose to have a shirt on that say human rights. Look at that. She got a shirt on that say human rights and she's spraying these people. With the water hose. Let me find out what happened. Yeah, I saw. I got it on tape. She sprayed the. You see the. You see the wetness right here. She spraying these people with a water hose, and then she got a shirt on that say human rights. God bless this man for sticking up for our unhoused neighbors. What kind of human rights is that? Y'all need to talk to this lady. That's very sad. Who is this place? The commissions on human rights. This is commission on human rights. Yeah. So y'all, what, right. what kind of human rights is that? I'll talk to her. Yeah, definitely. Even okay, I understand. That's a valid point. You, I saw you spray them. I saw you spray this tent. That's what I saw. That's very sad. You should not have that shirt on. You do not deserve to have any kind of shirt on that say anything about human rights. You are not. No, no, you're canceled, Miss. That is so disrespectful. I can't believe you sprayed them people with this water hose. You seen this man came and gave them food. That's the commission on human rights. How you gonna have that shirt on and spray these people? Yeah, that's so disrespectful. That breaks my heart. That is so wrong on every level. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I love this guy. Honestly, thank you for doing what you do. Unfortunately, this is the second incident in the span of as many days where a person is spraying the houseless with a water hose. Things could not have been handled better. I turned the hose on her. It, guess what? It woke her up. She moved. And that's what she needed to do was trying to get her to move and trying to help her. I came down and asked her if I could help her move the, the clothes and the whole thing. And this is not a person who just has no um, sympathy or empathy for homeless people. You, you, you are not. I am not. The Washington Post noted the original video drew condemnation from advocates and criticism of the man, a local art gallery owner, who told a reporter that he wasn't sorry for his actions. The San Francisco Chronicle identified the man in Garcia's video as Khalir Gwynn, the owner of Foster Gwynn Gallery, an art gallery on the Montgomery Street block near San Francisco's financial district that is shown in the video. The woman has not been identified. The man who took the video, a baker at a cafe a block from where the incident took place, said he recognized her as an unhoused person who had been in the neighborhood for about two years. She's very calm, he said. She always has a broom in her hand. She cleans where she sleeps. We offered her coffee, but she always rejected. Peter Calloway. A San Francisco public defender wrote about the video, absolutely disgusting, and a metaphor for the city's response to homelessness. More on that in the thread below. And to be clear, this is a crime. I have clients who have spent weeks, months in a cage for less. I doubt this will be investigated. Not the right kind of victim. And now we have this video from today. We need many voices to condemn this behavior so we do not have a domino effect amongst the public.